Hey y'all, it's Sunday again, and I'm here with my video. So, let's see, what are we going to talk about today? Um, I'm going to go with a less intense topic compared to what I did last week when I talked about my kidney uh, disease. So, I noticed again I got another review about my editing. Um, as I mentioned before, I self-edit, and at this point, I'm changing that again this year, it's, and I'm going to... I. Today I tried to, uh, I sent a request to four different editors and they're going to send me um, a sample. And hopefully one of those four, I'll find one who's willing to uh, work with me again to edit my books better than I do with uh, Pro Writing Aid in my reader and my self-editing. Um... I know I mentioned pricing, so I guess this week that's what I'm going to talk about. If I price my book for 99 cents, I don't know how much people understand how little that is. I, I only make 35 cents on that 99 cent book. And if I do a, a buck 99 like I've been doing for Crimson Rose, I only make 70 cents. Uh, my two ninety nine ones, I I make a little over two bucks, and I just changed uh, my new Bassett's daughter. I if you noticed, I put it for three ninety nine, which is still only about two dollars and seventy cents. So, I mean, I understand Amazon has to take their cut, and you know that wouldn't be any different than if you're sending it to a publishing house. They take their cut for the editors and your your. Uh, agent and everything that they have to pay so you know i have mentioned money is an issue still i mean i i i have made some pretty good money that i for my books more than i expected but i don't make you know a killing or so when i Everything that I make, I basically dump back into those stories to try to make them better. And, you know, covers. Luckily, I have a cover artist who doesn't charge me more than some. I mean, I, I've i seen covers go for two or three hundred hours. She only charges me over a little hundred, over a little, a little bit over a hundred. Which is still, you know, kind of high for... But she does awesome covers. So for somebody who, you know, doesn't have a lot of income, that's it's budgeted into my books. So basically every time that I sell a book at this point, except for Ellie's first book, I lose money on them. The only one that I haven't lost money on is, and it surprised me because I never thought to write that one, was, you know, the first book for Ellieville. Um, beyond that, uh, I'm going to try to see if I can make these better because, you know, I, I, I'm hoping I will find a long-term editor who will work with me because I don't plan to stop writing. I, I It's going to be something that's my job, so I'm going to keep doing it. And there might be times where I have to put up a self-edited book until I can save the money to change it and redo it. And pay the uh, the money that the editor is requesting. But if I start making enough money where I don't have to, to self-edit anymore, that would be awesome. And it, it'll change things around. But at this point, that's not happening. So I know people are disappointed and they get frustrated because evidently I, I don't do very good grammar. But... This is how things are at this point. So, um, what's happening right now? Uh, next weekend. Stop it, Star. Come here. Uh, okay, come here, you. Next weekend, I plan on releasing um, Cleo's third book, and I'm gonna finish Crimson Rose this week for the second book. And I've been working on Besses and Miras. Um, 
longer novel for Dyslexia Games, as I mentioned. And I've hit uh, about 6,000 words into, into that so far. Um, I don't know if any of those three will... Maybe... Well, I might uh, have uh, Cleo's story edited, depending on if I make a decision by next week. If not, I'll send it to an editor after I post it. And I'll send the... I'll upload the better version. Probably within a week or two afterwards. I don't know. I, I'm, maybe I'll hold that till mid-March now. Depending on what happens with us. But either way, I, I plan on releasing that in March. Um, Crimson Roses for still for April. And Bess is in Mira's book, I hope to have for May. And then I'll, re I'll go back to uh, adding another story f for Cleo and Petra and Crimson Rose. And then whatever that new novel will be, which will take me to uh, almost August, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it'll be August already. The year will be half over. So this is what's going on. I just wanted to talk a little bit about pricing. Um, if I do have these edited, I will be changing my prices because I like I know, right now I I basically I give those books away. I mean, yeah, granted I sell them for ninety nine cents a buck ninety nine and two ninety nine, but that's because like I said, I self edited them. Uh, if I do start doing those for an editing, I'm gonna raise the prices to um, two ninety nine, three ninety nine. And four ninety nine for my longer novels, cause I need the money to pay for editors. And you, if if you want a better version of a book, that I, unfortunately I have to raise my prices. So it is what's gonna happen. Um, for gaming news, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of gaming. I've been back to playing Borderland Three. I've been playing the Beastmaster uh, guy. I don't. His name is Flack, I believe. He's kind of cool. I kind of like him. I, I started originally with my Siren, but I've been playing the Beastmaster. I always kind of like classes that have uh, a pet with them. So it's usually kind of what I play in Warcraft too. I play my hunters all the time. All right, I guess that's it for this week. I just wanted to update, uh, you know, talk a little bit about pricing, update what I'm doing with my stories. Um, I don't know what I'm going to talk about next week. Maybe I will have better news about uh, editing again. Um, I know I worked with two editors last year, but uh, things didn't go too well the way that I hoped. So this time I'm going to take uh, take my time figuring out who I want to work with and who um, will complement the way that I write and my personality instead of hopefully dealing with uh, some of the uh, disagreements that we had last year and the way that things turned out the way that I wasn't too happy with. So I guess that's it for this week. Uh, my cats here want to go to bed. It's almost their time for bed. So I'm going to wrap this up. Okay. I'll see you next week. And that's it.